something you recently wrote about um, that I was just reading too, is Thank you me. wrote about, I was, uh, <laughs> that you wrote about the, the importance of celebrating successes and how doing so can reduce stress. And mm-hmm. I can kind of see where you're going with this, but I, I want to hear it. I want to hear it from you is what does celebrating these little triumphs do for you and how, how is it value? How is it a valuable practice for, for lawyers? Um, that's a great, that's a great question because when we do our annual planning process, we, we, we start asking, well, what did you celebrate? And then what will you celebrate? And almost every time you, you, you put your hand on your head and say, I didn't do anything to celebrate last year or that thing because we check things off our list. All right, what's next? I expected that to happen or that should have happened. So I'm not going to celebrate it. And, um, and then there's the whole, well, maybe I'm not worthy of celebrating. And the problem is if, if you don't, you know, I'm not a brain scientist, but I'm like to read what they write is it, it starts to affect the chemicals of your brain. If you don't give yourself moments where um, you can uh, stop and appreciate what's happening and recognize what's happening. And when you do, when you have that little celebration, you get a little dopamine hit and you start to feel better. And, you know, it, it, it doesn't have to be a big celebration. It can just be at the end of the day, taking a moment to reflect that these good things happen today. It could be part of a gratitude practice. Um, but that if you continue to grind and you don't take a moment to recognize and celebrate, whether it was a win at a hearing or you had a great experience with a client or somebody said, thank you, or a staff member went out of their way to help. Um, or you had a great evening with the children. If you don't take a stop to recognize that and celebrate that it happened, you're going to go through 10, 20 years and wonder what the heck. Um, and, and the science of it is taking that moment to celebrate that does give us a little bit of a chemical lift in a good way. And you'll want more of it and you'll do it again and again. So it doesn't have to be a great big celebration like you're going on a trip, but, but just stopping to say, yeah, that was good. I appreciate that. Um, you know, I got, I got a great, um, I asked my clients, I asked one of my clients, I said, what was your last six months like with me? How did it work? And I got this lovely email about how her, Practice is better, but her mental state is better. Her mind, she's more relaxed. She's more confident in her relationship with money. She's not taking on clients she shouldn't take. And she feels better about her practice, her relationship with her husband's better. And I'm, I'm just looking at that, just celebrating that for a minute. Like, that was remarkable. I mean, she came to me for time management and look at these other things that we're doing. And, and I didn't prompt her for that. I just said, what was it like? So lawyers who even ask their clients that and get that kind of feedback from themselves, that's something to celebrate. There's a lot to celebrate every day, even in a pandemic, if we can just focus on it. The problem is, as a society and as lawyers, especially, we're skeptical and our receptors are much more tuned into negative than they are to positive. And to the point where it's sometimes it's just not cool to even admit that something was possibly positive. And you're somehow stupid if you think that positive things happen. And that's just a, a, a self-defeating game. 